We're trying to build upon the first year field trip that's been running seven years. So we've established a second year field trip uh, out to Pipsal Lake. And now the goal for the coming months is to establish a, a third year uh, for the graduating class so that going forward, all of our students will have had three distinctly different experiences, but all involve uh, them uh, being challenged to some in some of their own thinking and by what they're learning uh, in terms of Indigenous issues and the relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Canadians. So in year one, they're really coming to grips uh, in a very uh, visceral and emotional way with the reality of what Indian residential schools was. By being in the school itself, by listening to residential school survivors, and then also by their children and grandchildren who are still carrying the legacy and the scars of their parents and grandparents' experience. Second year, we're trying to get them out on the land really learning more about indigenous laws in relation to natural resources and the environment and why, why the commitment of environmental protection is so embedded within indigenous reality. That there's an indigenous reality that existed long before uh, Europeans ever came uh, to this continent. And that reality has been suppressed and oppressed and but is seeking uh, vigorously to reassert itself within 21st century Canada. And that's something that all Canadians need to address. And so we're trying to kind of move it beyond an intellectual understanding into trying to be more of an emotional one in which students put themselves in the place in which Indigenous peoples have been. And our goal here, which is very much in keeping with the direction from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, is for all law students and all lawyers to understand at a far more profound level the way in which they interact with Indigenous peoples, that they have an, have an intercultural competency or fluency uh, so that they can be effective in representing Indigenous peoples as their clients.